Welcome again, boys and girls. We're standing in front of this uh, wonderful, absolutely stunning car, the Nobe. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to ask uh, the president of Nobe right here, uh, Monty, to uh, give us uh, give us a little uh, a little about him and um, how this car came to be. It's a privilege to be here, uh, Sandy. Thank you so much, and I thank Monroe and Associates. Uh, I'm Monte Otsma, I'm the president of Nobe Cars USA. And what Nobe is as a company is a mobility tech development company, which is based in the US, but originated in a tiny country named Estonia. Our founder, Roman Moliar, had this vision, and his vision was to create a new classic, a icon that will always look great, that can be always updated, and likewise can last for a lifetime. Companies take decades to develop and produce a concept and get a product, uh, at least a product concept, uh, into a marketplace. We're very proud. We did it in a couple of years. Not, as, uh, not in a couple of decades, perhaps, as others have done. Uh, what's going to make this a reality is Monroe and Associates. It's the big, big difference. We have focused on design and engineering. We have focused on making the car look handcrafted and lightweight, and lightweight meaning maneuverable, more mileage, quicker in zero to 60 miles in uh, less than six seconds. But you know, the reality of how this is gonna happen is going to be through Sandy and his magic. And you saw the, you saw the car for the first time. Yeah. What are your thoughts? So. I think I'd like to start right here, um, the, uh, the white wall tires. Okay, so I grew up in a slightly different era, and uh, these cars were unattainable. A type of car like this would be unattainable for me. This one here, I think in the, in the future is going to be attainable, and it's going to um, excite and delight, I think, a lot of folks. I mean, everything looks pretty much the same nowadays, unless you're looking at a pickup truck. So I look at the retro lights, I love the grill. I, I absolutely love the foxy lady um, hood ornament here. You just don't see this stuff anymore, so I'm pretty happy about the way that looks. If we, if we go in and have a look at the grill work and whatnot, even that's pretty spectacular. I mean, everything about this is appealing. And I will tell you that, um, that myself, and a couple of other guys here are very interested in buying one. So we look over here, and again, uh, we've got white wall tires with. I, I mean, love it those. Really, just I mean, so do I. It just looks brilliant. Um, the even even the attention to detail on the, um, you know, the markers and whatnot. Now people are shaving; they they take stuff off. I like the. Um, if we look at the side of this car, just stand back here and uh, swing in and just look at, look at the contour along the edge. This car does not have an ugly point, okay? Almost every car has something that people don't like about it, and I can't find a spot on here, and none of the people here can either. And by the way, it's not just old geezers that are looking at this. We've got guys that are still going to college and think it's stunning. And just have a look at this boat tail. Um, the, the only car that I've really ever wanted, um, an old car, is called a boat-tailed Auburn. And uh, this thing, this thing looks just like it. So if we, if we swing around here, oh, and by the way, this one here obviously isn't working, but we're going to have it so that um, it'll have the chimsel light or a, a stoplight in the center, but these, uh, these other areas are going to have LEDs so that... Uh, it's going to be your turn signals and things like that. As we turn around here and we start looking at everything else, all this, this chrome is just perfect. It's just enough. It's more than what you'd normally see, but it's just enough. And then, of course, the little um, um, Estonian flag, which, uh, which I was, uh, <laughs> I mean, there are proud people. I, it's, that's something that they're, they're very proud of. This, this car is really cool. So let's have a look in the interior. And again, all the attention to details. It looks like Marilyn Monroe should pop out of this thing. Uh, she was. She was? <laughs> she did. <laughs> yeah, so 
I, at the end of the day, I mean, there's not much here that I can say that would be negative. Um, and we're very, very delighted at Monroe and Associates to be chosen by, uh, by Nobe to, uh, to, to bring this car into production. And, and I will tell you that mm, we get asked to do jobs, a lot of different jobs, and um, some we take and some we don't, and some we give away. Um, this one, we're gonna be keeping inside. So at the end of the day, um, this, is, uh, this is the right thing to do for us, and um, I'm very, very happy that, uh, that you guys over at, uh, at Nobe have asked us to, uh, to help you out. And I'm thinking it's going to be a great, a great experience for all of us. So I'd like to thank you again. Oh, thank it's you. likewise. Thank it's you. a pleasure. Yep. So uh, stay tuned. There'll be a lot more. So, Monte, I've uh, been telling people that uh, the next big thing is going to be small. And I was wondering if maybe you could uh, maybe help us out here a little bit. Tell us a little more about um, the thought behind the uh, the Nobe and, uh, and, and, and your general impressions of how things are going to go. You know, thanks. Thanks, Sandy. The smallness and lightness of a vehicle is really, really important. We've had so many years where cars are oversized and overpowered, and the Nobi really is a smarter, more efficient alternative. The, the three key differentiators of our car, in addition to that being small and light, are as follows. We experience it as you walked around the car. Number one is the wow experience. Remember the Geneva uh, car show uh, 2019, and we had a couple who came in the car and put their hands around and rekindled you know, that type of experience. And you know, it, re it really recreates a bond reminiscent of the classic car era. And you mentioned before, like Marilyn Monroe, you could see individuals and stars coming out. The only difference now, they're going to have their mobile phone with them. The only yeah. thing they're going to be is they're going to be connected. But bringing that feeling back is number one. But not only is that feeling we bring back, the car is practical, practical and sustainable. You know, it seats two very comfortably. You can seat a third person, luggage, groceries, golf carts, gym bags. Practical also means you could drive it in the snow, you could drive it on the beach, it's three-wheel drive. You gotta see, I think you've seen the video of how it drives. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely fabulous. Unbelievable. You have a motorcycle chasing the car, and then nobody's doing better than the motorcycle. Right. I mean, it's really, really great. You know, right now it goes up to 160 miles in one charge. We have the concept of a, a portable battery pack, and which is great. You could bring this up to your condo or home, you charge it up at 110 volt electricity, and you could bring it back into the car to top off. Mm. So it doesn't matter where you live, you don't need 240, and you always have yeah. this availability. So it's really, really practical. And the third part is it's eco-friendly and sustainable. You know, today's consumer is so eco-conscious, demanding efficiency, yet style, and for it to be fun. So many of our parts are literally recyclable and extremely eco-friendly. And the key part that Roman had in his vision was this being able to update the car and keep it current in technology, and so you don't have to discard the car. And that was part of the retro design. And this retro, you know, and you look at it, and the retro d design is just beautiful, when you look at the beauty, it's timeless, and the quality is impeccable. And when you put it together with sustainability and practicality, we, we really hopefully believe we have a winner. Yeah. Well, I can tell you um, from the experiences, we haven't shown it to too many people um, because um, you know, we, we wanted to keep it under wraps until you came, uh, came along. But I will tell you that um, it doesn't seem to be um, age restricting. I mean, I fell in love with it when I saw it. I couldn't believe the little videos that you guys have cranked out that are just stunning. Um, I mean, and then we had, uh, we had uh, a lady in here that was an intern. She absolutely fell in love with it. She just drooled all over the thing. I think it's, 
like you say, timeless. It's got a timeless design. So I think Roman did a fine job um, at, um, and I hear, I heard his wife is also an artist then yes. as well. Yeah. And both of them, that creativity. And also, you brought up the little Estonian flag. We have, I happen to be also Estonian, and so Estonian American. And the pride of the country that also brought Skype and so much of the technology, it's great to see a hard goods product come out yeah. and which we're hoping that's going to have the same yeah. type of success. And we really believe it's the car of the future, what it is right now and for the future. And one of the things that we've learned from you and from uh, your videos and discussions is you have to get it right the first time going out. Absolutely. And that's what we're kind of famous for. I mean, uh, to look backwards, if we look at the club car vehicle, um, that when that vehicle came out, it basically mopped the floor with the competition. And, um, and we are working on other three-wheel vehicles, um, the Archimodo being the most prominent. Everybody kind of knows about that one. And uh, quite frankly, uh, if this would have been in the same type of market as what Archimodo was, I probably wouldn't have taken on the job. But this is a s dramatically different kind of vehicle. Um, than, than our Akimoto. And, and I think that Akimoto and Nobe are both going to hit the market. They're both going to hit their market, their niche. And I think they're both going to be hugely successful. Thank you. And I, and I, I, I agree also uh, absolutely with Akimoto and where you're going. I th one of the things I believe which is going to be unique to us is going to be our focus in the, in the B2C market because the appeal, like you said, for those in commuters, or right. you could see this in terms of leisure activities and likewise to complement any of the golf carts that are out there and the golf courses on that, but also the B2B business play is very, very big. You could see corporate promotions right. and likewise being able to look at ho uh, uh, upscale hospitality suites and being able to do it. It's really, we think, the complete, uh, we, we believe it's a complete uh, package and we're honored to be in a strategic alliance with Monroe and Associates. Yeah. Well, I can tell you right now that once we get this into, uh, into, into production, I think one of my cousins works for um, a very large um, hotel chain um, in the islands. And uh, I, think that, um, I think that one of the things that he's going to be looking at is maybe getting a fleet of these things. So he picks his, uh, he picks his, um, his uh, patrons up at the airport and brings them to the to the hotel in a kind of a very luxurious kind of limousine bus kind of a thing. But once they're there, um, what do they do? So this this type of a thing uh, will come in at a, a price, a decent price, so that uh, so that uh, if you're at a luxury hotel, it may be that you rent them or maybe just get them, um, depending on what kind of uh, money you're spending on your room, I guess. But, right. uh, but, but, uh, and then they, they have the ability to, uh, to troop around the island and, and, you know, have some, some extra fun, especially being as I've never been at that hotel, but, um, cause it's too expensive for me. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but I, I, I will tell you that. that, um, I will tell you that the, um, uh, uh, that hotel owns a spit. So it's a stretch going out into the ocean and whatnot. And uh, so that means there's plenty of beach to to run on that will have hard sand. And I think I think it's going to be a kind of a deal where um, uh, he'll be uh, he'll be one of your uh, one oh, of your we, customers. We love it. Roman was in uh, in Paris and an upper end hospitality yeah. company already put in uh, three letters. We're we're opening up also in terms of reservations for everyone like to have one for some time the end of the next year yeah. when we start production. But the focus for us not only looking at the consumer, but in the business. And not, not only does it fit everyone's lifestyle, because it's, it's stylish, high quality, and eco-friendly, but for a business, it also fits a business purpose. And that business purpose is exactly to be able to give their customers that type of experience. Right. And now those who are at home who need to commute, or those who really want to do a specific activity, like go to the snow. You know, I can't wait when I have mine. I can't wait to go dri driving. I have a friend, uh, a close friend who lives in Truckee uh, in uh, Tahoe. And, and to be able not only in a park, uh, uh, in, a, uh, in this parking lot, but I know I could go up the hill. 
I know I could go yeah. boom and shoot up in the back and stuff like that. So it, it's very, very exciting. Well, and again, we talked about this, but the only way that you could possibly make that happen is if all three wheels are pushing. And uh, that's one of the things I like about this. The, uh, the idea of, um, of having a vehicle that uh, a three wheel vehicle is, is always kind of, um, mm, people are gonna, gonna raise their eyebrows and stuff like that. But we also raised our eyebrows when we were talking about, um, uh, when we were talking about um, uh, wheel motors and this has wheel motors. But at the end of the day, I, I, drove, um, I drove a Mercedes that had uh, four wheel motors and uh, I was taking on and off ramps at uh, about 95 miles an hour without any problem whatsoever. I did not feel like I was gonna lose control for a second. This vehicle here with the three, uh, the three uh, wheel motors and we're gonna lower the center of gravity a lot. The, the, the center of gravity is gonna be very low so we're not gonna have to worry about uh, uh, the usual Oh, it's going to flip over. This isn't uh, an old-fashioned, um, uh, an old-fashioned three-wheel vehicle. This is uh, this is going to be something that is going to get uh, it'll, you'll you'll get your hair blown around. For those that uh, uh, that are interested in buying one, you are taking orders and put your order in now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love this sales for it. Yeah. Well, hey, you know what? Uh, uh, we're here to we're here to do business that's as what, well. So. That's what alliances are all about. Yeah. Uh, again, it's from the bottom of our heart, uh, Roman and myself and the entire uh, Anobia team. Thank you and thank well, Monroe it, it, Associates. There's more than that too. You get the Estonian things. Most people don't know much about Estonia. It's a very small country. Uh, but uh, when I grew up, I knew quite a bit about um, the uh, the three the three little countries that uh, that basically took a whooping. Um, after, uh, during the Second World War. Uh, I didn't know when the Russians finally gave up and gave Estonia back to its own people. 91. Yeah, 91. So that's a long, long time. And last year was the 100th anniversary of Estonia as a nation. So That's wonderful. You yeah, know that. Absolutely. Yeah, that's so, uh, so we're very, pr very, very proud. Thank you. Proud to be an Estonian American too in the process, but it's great to be able to give back to your heritage. And so, and yeah. this, this is something what we really can feel that we give to the world. Great. Well, I, uh, I, I thank you for the, uh, thank, thank you for you the so offers much. and, and the, uh, and the opportunity to make this, this, uh, uh, a classic vehicle. And I'm proud to have the Monroe name associated with it. So thank you so much, Monty. Thank you. And thank you.